I always get asked, and it is the most common question, I get DMs about it, I get messages about it. What is the secret sauce that got you from where you was, which is didn't really have much going for me, didn't really have like a, a purpose, a vision, anything that I wanted to do in life. I was just going to be average. I always had that seed in the back of my mind and that vision that I could do something more with my life. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a 9 to 5. I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make money on the hour. I'm going to play a clip in a minute that shows a video of me saying what my dream job is and a picture of me basically saying, yeah, we go from now, I'll be making $10,000 a month. Now, that was in October last year. and um, We hit it around two months ago now, one or two months ago now. So we're definitely above the standard as to what I thought it would be a year ago today, which is really awesome to see. But a lot of people ask me, what's the secret sauce? What got me from that point at breakneck speed and not just in financial, but in health, in mental, in knowledge. All of that I'm gonna break down in this exact video and the things that basically got me from point A to point Z as to where I am now. And this is just my personal experience. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. I'm not saying I'm an expert. From zero to $25,000 a month, from being really overweight, really insecure to where I am now, to going to the gym every day, to feeling confident in myself. What did it take me to get to that point? We're gonna break that down now. So the first thing that planted the seed in my mind was seeing TikToks of people in Lamborghinis, seeing people living this extravagant life style and basically posting the highlight reels of their life on social media and i think that's a lot of why people do the things they do because they want that extravagant lifestyle that they see on social media that's so glorified the very first action that i took was this was the very first book i read and it's called the four hour work week and this is where the belief really starts saying okay this is possible but is it possible for someone like me so my belief system kind of changed from reading this book and it taught me a lot it taught me that you don't just need to live in the nine to five like there is life outside of that you've just got to be willing to put in the work to get there this book was the very first thing i was just a big reader then it was atomic habits and then it was unscripted MJ DeMarco is a really good author. He has some really good books, so I'd really recommend reading Unscripted. And especially, I've made a separate video on this, Atomic Habits. Realising that if you want what people don't have, you've got to be willing to do what people don't want to do for an unreasonable amount of time. You've just got to work and work and work until you build momentum and it just becomes a habit. Once the habit's internalised, things are a lot easier because you don't need to go through the whole thought process. Oh, do I do this? Do I do that? I'll give you an example. When you wake up in the morning, you don't think about brushing your teeth, you just do it. It's not something you need to contemplate in your mind. But for example, if you go to the cupboard and you see chocolate and you see a salad, you're like, oh, do I pick the chocolate? Do I pick the salad? But if you continuously eat salad for an unreasonable amount of time, there's no decision fatigue there. It's just salad, automatic. Habit automation was a game changer for me. And it's all about taking action because I could have got to this point a year ago if I really wanted to. Not to sound egotistical, but if I actually put in the work a year ago from today, I definitely could have. But it was that emotional connection with a lot of people that I wanted to be involved in every party, every gathering, every time people went out, I wanted to be there because I wanted to be like the center of attention. When you realize that validation from other people is unmatched compared to validation within yourself, that's when the light bulb moment really was for me, when I stopped going to them and I was still getting the fear of missing out. And I realized, oh, like they're, they're all the same. Everybody posts the videos, the highlight reels, acting like these parties and the gatherings are amazing. But then when you're there, they're all the same. Like some of them, yeah, might be a little bit better than others. Bottom line, they're always going to be there. They're never going to go away. There is no drawback to starting now. Like when you say you start tomorrow, you're not going to. You're not going to start tomorrow. So you may as well just start today. So just reverting back to the whole reason of this video, what's the secret sauce? There really isn't any. You just do the action that you know you need to do. There's just one simple question you need to ask yourself. And that question is, what do I need to do that will move the needle towards where I want to get to? If your goal is get a six pack, just look at yourself in the mirror and go, how do I get a six pack? I eat clean. I track my calories. I track my macros. I follow a strict gym routine. I track my workouts maybe so you can progressively overload and see the progress. All of these things are gonna to contribute towards that goal. Anything outside of the scope of that is probably not contributing towards it, so remove it. If that's your main goal, then remove it. And then you just ask yourself one more question. So you ask, what do I need to do that's gonna to contribute towards moving the needle to get me towards this goal? And then the second question is, what do I need to remove that's putting me out of alignment with this goal, that's moving me further away from this goal? So maybe it's drinking alcohol, binge eating on a Saturday night, these things might be what's hindering your ability to get to that goal. Two very simple questions. That's all, there's no secret sauce. It's just doing what you know you need to do and making it stupidly simple. KISS, that is what I use, the K-I-S-S -S framework. Keep it stupidly simple. Because it is simple. 
It's hard, but it's simple. How do I make $10,000 with my marketing agency? You can ask yourself that if that's one of your goals. I set appointments, so I need to do more outreach, put more volume in. I close appointments, but the only reason, the only way I'm going to close more appointments is by getting more calls so I can improve my sales skills. And then I deliver a service. How are you going to deliver a service with no clients? So the root of the problem is you just need to put more volume in with your outreach, whether it's paid, organic content, whether it's hiring a team of assistants that's going to do IG and Facebook DMs for you, whether it's cold calling, emails. Bottom line is you put more volume in because the more input you put into the system the more output you're going to get results equals action that is it and if you haven't read this book you really need to because it really drives this point home right if you put action in for a long period of time you will get some sort of result whether it's a good result or bad result that is on you but the universe will provide you with some sort of result dependent on the action that you put in. I'll give you an example. So as of now, probably in the last eight months, I've definitely taken over 500 sales calls. I can read 50 books on sales, take loads of notes. I can practice with myself, but that lesson is going to be so small compared to the lesson I learned from taking 500 sales calls. I can practice setting up ads, onboarding clients by myself and creating a checklist on how to onboard them as smoothly as possible. But that lesson is going to take a thousand times longer to actually learn and nail it down than if I just got the clients and bit the bullet. It's going to be hard. It's going to be uncomfortable. Deal with it. It does not get easier. I have clients now that get really upset. Sometimes results are uncontrollable and the market's not being as responsive and they'll be crying on the phone and they'll be super upset and I've got to handle that. That is my responsibility because I'm the one that can get them the result and they're not getting that. So next time you think that this is all glorified and I got to $25,000 a month with no hard tasks, with no discomfort, you're wrong. Trust me, because everything that goes on on the back end isn't glorified on social media and it's the same with me. I show my highlight reels, I show my goals, I show where I'm at now. And everyone's like, how did he get there? What's the secret sauce? There's no secret sauce. You just do the hard shit for a long period of time. That is really it. Ask yourself what needs to be done and just do it. No matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel, you've got to do it. And if you're not willing to do it, then you've got to be okay with the fact that you probably won't get the goal that you want to achieve.